You know, we get to this part where we're like, God, if you could just give me a little bit more money in my check. God, if I can just get that car, that house, that promotion, those shoes, that dress, whatever it is, we keep going back to God and we're saying, if you could just give me this thing. You see, recently I went to God, and I mean recently, I went to God and I asked him for a thing. And what he said back to me, all these years, I continue to give you these things, these things, these things that you think is going to keep you happy, make you happy, fill that void. But this time, what if that thing that you need is me? Welcome back to our channel, The Soren Seward Family. I'm Ivy. Thank you so much for joining us for another Friday Mommy Moment. You do not have to be a mommy to enjoy this moment. All you need is a moment. If you're new here, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we upload a video. We do life. I guess that's this way. Scratch that. We do life on this channel, so if that's what you're about, come on and join our family. The first thing that we do when we come here on Fridays is shout outs. Let's get right to it. The first shout out that I wanna give out today is to Courtney McGriff Taylor. She's not a YouTuber, but she is a subby, and I just wanna say thank you so much for coming to this channel and enjoying us and always speaking life and encouragement into us. I really, really super duper enjoy you and I wanted to recognize you today. I hope that we have made your heart feel warm as you do whenever we read your comments. The next shout out is going to Keto Odyssey, Leslie Ann. Hey girl! You guys, she is a YouTuber, a content creator, and she is on Keto, and I am going to leave her information right here so you guys can go and check her out. I had to recognize you because you have been so awesome and just supporting me on this journey and always giving me tips and reaching out, and I wanted to say that I really, really appreciate you. The last shout out is going to Jumpstart January. Jumpstart January. To all of you who are participating in Jumpstart January and to all of you who are supporting Jumpstart January, who's not doing Jumpstart January, I wanna say thank you so very, very much. You guys have been amazing. All the support, all the unity. You guys, I am digging it. Let's keep it going. That's all the shout outs that I have for you today. Let's get to this Friday mommy moment, shall we? Yes, we shall. Shall we? Yes, we shall. Shall we? Yes, we shall. Right now. I remember praying for everything that I have right now. I was in a really tough situation. For those who don't know, my mom, you know, she had, she's going through um, health issues right now. Um, and she was back then as well. And I felt that God had put it on my heart after just having twins, becoming a mother of five, that me and my husband were supposed to go to Boston and get my mom, bring her back to Maryland at the time, and take care of her. That was the hardest transition and period of my life for a while. I had to go right back to work after six weeks. I had a new boss. They changed my hours. And life was hard, I wasn't sleeping. I had decided to start taking a class online and my husband did too. He ended up finishing, I didn't. It was really tough. I remember being in Maryland and crying, real tears, crying out to God and I said, God, if only I didn't have to work, that would help me out a lot. If only you could do this one thing, God, that would just really, you know, make me happy. It would really give me what I need to make it through the day. I said, God, because right now, this what I have, it's, it's hard. I, I was crying. I was miserable. Like, it was just tough. And on the outside, everybody's like, oh, man, you're doing such a great job. You're doing, but inside, I'm like, God, I just need you to do this for me. He came through, not right away, on his time. About a year and some months later, my whole life changed again. 
and everything I had asked for and more, God gave me. But you know what? I still kept going back to him for a thing. God, if you just do this. God, if you just do that. And most of us do that. You know, we get to this part where we're like, God, if you could just give me a little bit more money in my check. God, if I can just get that car, that house, that promotion, those shoes, that dress, whatever it is, we keep going back to God and we're saying, if you could just give me this thing, if you could just let my career take off, if you could just give me that thing, and we will continue to go to God and ask him for that thing that we think is going to bring us happiness and fill that void at that time. You see, recently I went to God, and I mean recently, I went to God and I asked him for a thing. And what he said back to me, and you guys, I know we all hear from God in different ways, but what he said to me, I heard clear as day. He said, what if this time, that thing that you need is me? And I'm like, God, I'm confused because I got you. I pray every day. I try to do what you want me to do every day. I read. I, 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 I got, I got, I know you, I know you, what you, what do you mean? He said, what if that one thing that you need this time is more of me? All these years, I continue to give you these things, these things, these things that you think is going to keep you happy, make you happy, fill that void, but this time, how about that one thing be more of me? And that hit me right in my spirit. It hit me right in my gut. And it shook me for a few days because he was right. So many times we're looking for these things. If I lose a little more weight, I'm doing keto, I'll be happier. If I could just fit into those jeans, if I can just get more of this, if I can get more of that, God, if you can only give me this one thing, it will make me. But what if this time that thing is more of him? How about I, how about we? Let him be more of that thing that we need. Let him come in to us again. And again, when we go to him asking for that one thing that we think is going to make us happy. And I know it's clear as day. Ask not and you shall receive not. But this time, how about we ask God for more of him? Let him run rampant all through us. And let's see what he does. And when he said that to me, you guys, I had to come and share with you because I'm like, God, what if there's somebody out there watching this video? What if one of my friends, what if one of the people I don't know, or this video falls upon somebody who needs to hear this, which you told me, maybe it can bless somebody else. I'm yielding. I'm yielding to God to have his way in my life. God, whatever I lack, please come. God, whatever I'm not seeing that's in my life that you want to change, bring it to me so I can change it. God, set me on a path and send me that way and let me do what you would have me to do. So that's all I have for you guys today. Stay blessed, stay true, and continue to be you because the world needs more people like who? Like you. And if you're not feeling needed, know that here on the Soren Seaman Family Channel, you are always needed. <laughs> All right, you guys, I will see you next Friday. Lord willing, drop a comment down below and say hello. Peace out.